it's time for Corner Table, our exclusive theater review segment. It features legendary critic John Simon. He's written on theater, film, and the fine arts for more than 50 years, including 35 years at New York Magazine. He's also been published in the New York Times, the Washington Post, and more. Today he's joined by three special guests, Aria, Vivian, and Sydney, and they are here to review the new show, Frozen. Welcome to a special episode of Corner Table with legendary film and theater critic John Simon. I'm Edward Van Saders filling in for Justin Brown this week as we take a look at one of the hottest tickets on Broadway. We're talking about Disney's Frozen. And we've brought some special guests with us today as well. My triplet daughters who are seven years old. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Aria and I go to William O. Schaefer and I'm in second grade. Oh. My name is Vivian and I go to William O. Schaefer and I'm in second grade. My name is Sydney, I go to William O. Schaefer and I'm in second grade. Excellent. Uh, Frozen, of course, is adapted from the mega global billion dollar grossing film and much of the creative team has actually reunited for this production on Broadway, including Jennifer Lee who wrote the book and the music and lyrics with the husband-wife team, Kristen Anderson and Robert Lopez. John, yes. what do you think? Well now, young ladies, have you seen both the movie and the stage version? Yes. yes. Well, our next question is, which one did you like better, the stage or the movie? Um, I liked the stage because it had like very different ones. The songs and the talking were really, really different, and it was really cool. Well, what did you think, John? Did you see, did you see the, the, the well, movie I, as well? I saw the movie as well. I was not enthusiastic about either the movie or the stage version, but I'm willing to be told that I'm wrong. <laughs> do you think he's wrong? Uh, I think he's wrong. You do? I think he's wrong. Yeah? I think he's wrong. Oh, okay. Well, what was your favorite part? Uh, when, uh, um, when, uh, uh, when people were naked and Hans punched on in the face. Wait a minute, wait a minute. People were naked? <laughs> well, yes. there were people who were half naked, you know, up, the, up down uh, to the waist. But they weren't, they weren't, like, they were whole naked, but, um, but leaves were not showing their privacy. Oh, so it was okay. like covering them. So d uh, did you recognize if there were songs that were different from yeah. the movie? Yeah. Yes. Oh, what yeah. songs were different? What do you know about love? Oh yeah, that was a good uh, one. And uh, Higa. Yeah, Higa. Yeah, we like that song a lot. Which, Higa. It was really, really yeah, funny. Higa. Higa. Yeah. Well, has, has anyone read to you the story on which this is based by the Danish writer Hans Christian Andersen, the Snow Queen? Has anyone read that to you? No. 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 Well, you see, in my opinion, that is a better thing than either the movie or the stage version, but that's just my opinion. You may be different and you may be right. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what, what would you say was the biggest difference, if you can, between the movie and the stage? It had more songs. Yeah, and it had... Um, the sound effects were kind of different because in the movie, Elsa didn't like uh, she touched she touched different things just than the castle and in the movie she didn't do that of course it's easier in the movie to do magic than to do magic on the stage yeah, yeah. what was your favorite uh, special effect when anna in the castle when the, the people were trying to get her mm. um she um, why well, she really didn't like do magic she was actually putting her hands up and then I think people were behind the stage people um, were like pulling things to get the, those crystals up so it could block them what I'm curious about is John did you find any of the characters relatable from your perspective what relatable? yeah well um, not really uh, my problem is that first I don't think the music is too wonderful mm. even let it go which is the main song uh, even that isn't the most wonderful song i've ever heard uh, and the other songs even less so uh, and the other thing is it's very loud you know it's as if loudness could make up for everything else that's missing they're supposed to be loud so everybody can hear it because if if they made it low then 
I like if they, here. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I think the thing is, is that this is a show about accessibility. And, 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 and oh, and she's the, still talking. And the show <laughs> was super exciting that they wanted to put it loud because that song was really exciting. Yeah. So it depends on if it's exciting or sad. Or just well, I think our perspective is that Disney's Frozen is about accessibility. And it, it's bringing, obviously, a whole new generation to the theater. You could argue that some of the things are um, um, a bridge too far to travel from a, from a theme park show. But uh, we're bringing a new generation into the theater. And uh, I don't know, do you guys say thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. All right, what do you say, John? Well, no, I, I, I like to keep my thumbs out of it. <laughs> well, thanks so much. It's been a real pleasure. And thanks for having us on this special episode. Well, it's been fun having you all and um, become critics when you grow up. They already are. And with that, we're going to let it go to commercial. We'll be right back.